How you doing guys? I'm back with another photo P tutorial and this one's going to be about making your picture look amazing. And I'm going to show you how to do that with a few steps. It's really not that hard so just follow along. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to file, new, and you can type in your dimensions here. So we're going to go with 1280 by 720 which is thumbnail size and we're going to name this photo tutorial well i am you guys can name it whatever you like and then you just want to hit create and there you go and we're going to start by finding an image online or whatever if you took a picture with your own camera that'll work and I'm, i chose this one right here and i'm going to edit that in mine so what you do is you right click copy go back to your photo tab and hit Control v but if you have it from your camera you could go to your file explorer and just drag it in or hit file open and then you can open one of your files we're going to start out with going up to image adjustments brightness and contrast so if you notice it's it's kind of darkish and the brightness tab you left click on it you could drag it to make it brighter or lower what i like to do is make it up a little bit and then move my contrast up a little bit so you could see it's a little brighter and it has more like a nicer effect on it so that's what this does i use it a lot and you just hit okay and there you go that's what we got so far next what we're going to do is go back up to image go to adjustments go to vibrance you turn the vibrance up all the way see it's all the way up and then all the way down takes out the color so we're going to do a good amount and then saturation you can blend it together you don't want it too much because then it's kind of crazy so just a little bit like that should do and just hit okay and see it's already looking a lot better now what i'm going to do is go up to filter go down to sharpen and click sharpen and you can see it's like sh it's gotten more sharp around edges which makes it look nicer you don't want to do too much because then it looks bad now it's going to get a little bit harder but not hard it'll be fine if you just follow along so what i did was i looked up sun glare png you could do that too or if you have your own by any chance you can use that and you want to stay away from the ones with like the checkerboards because those are like fake pngs but the black works. I'll show you how to get rid of the black and ones that when you click on it, checkerboard pops up. Those are good too. But we're going to do, I'm going to use this one right here because it's really easy to get the black out of it. So what you want to do is you just want to right click on it, copy, go back, control V, and here it is. So now we're going to get rid of the black part. So double click on it on the layer on the right. Then here in blending options and blend mode, click that drop down arrow and click screen. And there you go. Well, oh wait, you gotta hit okay as well. And then you should have this and you can move it anywhere you'd like. So I'm gonna put it like right here and say I want it to be behind the mountain. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you can click this little zoom tool down here and then left click hold left click and then drag to get in close you can see we're really close right now i'm going to show you how to get it around the mountain if you want to do that but if you don't that's fine too so go to the lasso select and then i'm going to turn the opacity down on this layer like going over here to the opacity turning it down so i can see the mountain and i'm just going to trace around the mountain by holding left click the lasso tool I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to do this right now. Just go around this part and then you could go down to get around the whole ray and then just let go and it'll connect. So when you hit delete, that gets rid of the sun ray. So if you go back to the zoom tool and zoom out, gosh, what's happening? Um, there we go. You can see that the sun's not there. So I'm going to, Make the opacity higher and see it goes around but you see there's a line still here so you just want to hit Control d don't do that make sure you're selected on your move tool Control d if you zoom out 
you can see it's behind it obviously i could do a better job because the sun's going over here and you could just see it's kind of like stops blatantly right here but you know you can make it go around all the mountain if you really want to but that's just how you get a photo behind it so notice how that looks a lot better than before this is the before this is the after so thank you guys for watching if you want to see a more in-depth guide let me know if you want to see any other kind of tutorials let me know as well i uh, hope you have a good one see ya